couch really stuck to me and I went downstairs and like I started seeing the portal and I was like whoa so this couch is and then the, he told me that they just got the couch can you touch the K2 meter <gasps> oh my god <gasps> goodbye oh my god wait it wait. is a portal because I told you how it keeps coming in and out yeah whoa so they left <gasps> Just outside of Atlanta, Georgia, is the small town of Rome, which was most recently used as a filming location for Stranger Things. Most notably, the now infamous Creel House from the show is located here. This is our paranormal investigation inside. So, my name is Jeb Arp, and I am the listing agent with Toll Simple and Wright, and you are here in our listing. This is the Claremont House in Rome, Georgia. Uh, it was used in Stranger Things. It was known then as the Creel House. But the house was built in 1882 by Colonel Yancey, uh, who was a prominent attorney in Rome. And he was actually the city of Rome attorney, uh, argued in front of the Georgia Supreme Court several times. So, um, but he built the house and it was dubbed the Claremont House after a favorite niece uh, of his wife. We are currently in what was called the Claremont House. It was a bed and breakfast in Rome, Georgia at one point. It's now privately owned. And it's now famed for being the house that is in the current Stranger Things that just came out on Netflix. And I think it's called the Creel House on Netflix. Um, but anyway, uh, we are currently here with Stephanie Strange, who is a psychic medium from Los Angeles. And she has been sitting down here in the dining room and trying to get a read on the energy, spirit, whatever might be in this house. And she actually picked up on something upstairs, and we're going to go check that out right now. What are you feeling? I start pain like right here. What does that usually indicate? Um, I think I'm picking up like a lady, but she's, I don't think she died because of any fatal accident on her head. And I don't think it's like a, again, I'm not picking up like any strong spirits here. It's more like attachment to things. Um, but I felt like she, like an elderly lady, like she either hit her head, I don't know what happened to her, it's a concussion at one point. I don't know why they're showing me that. I also get like there might have been like a, one of, I think this might, I feel like this is a room where children might have been at one point. Yeah, like a, like a nursery, but it's very strong feminine energy. Okay, so we're gonna do the alphabet for this because I want to get like yes or no with this couch real quick. Rebecca in an R. What? Who is this Rebecca? Okay. Is is there a Rebecca here? Can you give me a yes or no? Like nothing. Hmm. And I have it up max. And you saw yesterday at the theater. The theater was like crazy. Immediately. You see that? Four. What does four mean? Can you say, can you give me a yes or no? Can you move the K2 meter if there's a spirit attached to the couch? Or can you give me a yes on the polter script? I wish I had my REM pod. Do you like my bear? Can you give me a yes? Is there is there a child attached to this this couch? Can you touch the K2 meter? <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> Goodbye. Oh my god. Wait. It wait. is a portal because I told you how it keeps coming in and out. Yeah. Whoa. So they left. <gasps> Again. 
Wait a minute, yo, that was crazy. So there is a portal with this couch. Yeah. Wow, and the fact that like you picked up on that like immediately too, that's crazy. That was, you cannot make this up. That was incredible. Can you tell me what two plus two? <laughs> what the heck? That was cool. How would you describe what happened by the couch? In general, so I really believe that the couch is haunted, but even then it's, cause spirits can travel to different locations that they're familiar with, it, that they don't just stay in one plane or one spot. And so I feel like there is a, a female spirit attached to it. Could be like a child, it's very faint. Um, I kept getting a Rebecca too associated. So I'm not sure if the woman wants to be known as Rebecca or whoever that is, but I feel like there might be like a port, it's like a portal of the spirit coming in and out. Mm. Um, but everything else here feels like residual energy. Mm. And it was, again, it's just gave me chills that like the only thing I felt drawn to was that couch. And he was telling me that they just got the couch. It was the one of the original pieces of this house. Right. They recently just got that. Like that is so cool. Like mind blowing on top of that. <laughs> so, that was cool. Awesome. Yeah. Next week on Fright Scene. Yeah, she's right over there. Martha. The witch is right over here. You should try the pendulum with her. She keeps saying scientist. So that's, to me, that, that witchcraft scientist. Yeah. Um, she's very self-aware though. Very self-aware spirit. So um, yeah, we'll get the pendulum. Yes, Martha, the pen. <laughs> she's the pen. Huh?